guys, it is Michael, um, and I am back with a new video, slight update for you guys. So, um, I got my first testosterone shot today. Hey, high fives to you guys, yeah, all around. I am so excited. So, I got my first shot. I was really nervous doing my own shot because I, for some reason, you know, just the thought of stabbing myself was like a little bit nerve-wracking, but I mean, it's all okay. So, my dad did the shot for me, he administered the shot because I was taking way too long and I just needed somebody else to do it for me for the first time. And it, you know, other than the fact that I had this whole adrenaline rush and I had the crash right after everything had happened and I was really tired, but it felt really good, like it was, it was just, it just, it felt cool to be on testosterone and I know the fact that you know, me having testosterone in my body in no way for 30 seconds after getting the shot administered to me makes me physically different. But I walk out of the Mozoni Center, which is where I, you know, do all of my medical care and stuff, dealing with the trans stuff. Um, I had walked out of the Mozoni Center to the Reading Terminal Market in the city, and it felt pretty good. Like, if you know me, I walk around school pretty confident pretty, you know, I look pretty ridiculous in the halls and I feel okay about, you know, looking weird and stuff like that. Um, and I just generally really, really confident in myself. But I walked on the street today and it was a different type of confidence. It was a confidence of, and like I said, I know this is not true because 30 seconds after I'm not going to look different or sound different, but it was almost as if the world was going to see me as I feel that I look. So it just, it felt really cool. It was like, I'm a man now. I need to go home and shave my face because I have a full-blown beard. That's, I actually said that. I, you can ask my parents. I had said that. I was like that hyped up for the testosterone. Just because of the fact that, you know, I know those changes are coming maybe two years down the line for facial hair, but I was still so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was, that was awesome. Also, a really cool thing is in AP Biology, we're doing an end of the year project. And one of my friends had suggested that I do the lab on me. I do the testosterone effects on me. And I ran it past my teacher, who happens to also be the head of GSA, which is Gay Trade Alliance in our school. And she was like, you know what? This will be awesome. You research testosterone, the effects of testosterone on other people, and then you do you know, your effects, you keep a log. And I thought that was pretty cool, like I can, this is act. I'll be presenting this. Now keep in mind, this will be six months down the road. So I'll possibly have some changes, maybe my voice will sound a little bit deeper, hopefully, you know? <laughs> maybe I'll look a little bit different, I don't know. We'll see, it's all an experience that, you know, we'll find out down the road. But it'll be interesting to look back on this and it'll be good for me emotionally and mentally just to be able to keep a log of everything and I know I have to keep it daily to, or weekly at least just so that way it's science you know it's a it's a it's a good way to keep track of everything so it's now something that I will have to do not just something that I promised myself I'm going to do as a new year's resolution and just you know give up maybe three weeks in and say oh, I'll do it later like now I have a real motive to do something <laughs> um so there's, that's, that'll be pretty cool. It's gonna be good and I just think it'll be awesome. We'll see how that goes. And another thing is that after I put out the video, you know, people were really awesome about it. I was so excited. I just, everybody was really cool about it. Now I didn't expect much different from people, although I was nervous because, you know, you just, you just are nervous when you tell people big things like that. But it wasn't really, you know, I don't expect much different from everybody because everybody's really cool and even though I'm trans, I'm a human. Everybody else is a human. They deserve to be happy and to live and have support. And you guys have supported me so much. I mean, honestly, so much. I joined a Pit 2020 group, class of 2020, and people were so awesome. People that were, you know, that I'm just going to happen to be classmates with, potentially was telling me that they were so proud of me and you know thank you for saying that you're proud of me and strangers even close friends you know they just they, everybody said it and it was awesome I walked in the hallway and I know this may seem a little weird 
but I'm mutual friends with people on Facebook and you can't even say that you don't do it because you do it too. You're mutual friends with people on Facebook that you don't talk to, you know, inside of school, but you see them all the time or just like anywhere in general. And they would, you know, they'd be like, hey, Mike. And I'd be like, hey, how's it going? Like, it was just cool. Like, people that I had never really talked to before, I began to talk to because they saw the video. I made some new friends. Cool. Awesome side effect of, effect of uh, you know, coming out. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. But, you know, and also people have had slip-ups, which I'm okay with. If you slip up and say, mm, my birth name. If you correct yourself, and even just at that point, I know that you care, and that's awesome. So thank you so much. You know, people go on and they apologize for maybe five minutes, and somebody has like actually gotten up and left the room and had to come back like four minutes later because they just, they couldn't with themselves. But the fact that you corrected yourself, just thank you so much. I know that, you know, some of you may still be a little bit nervous of that. I'm okay, like thank you. Just even the correction of yourself and realizing that, that, it, that it had happened, that's fine, like, it's awesome. Thank you so much. You just, it really means a lot to me. You guys are awesome, you guys are great. <laughs> and, you know, with all of that, I uh, I don't really have much more to say. I might post the video of me getting my, t my shot later. We'll see, I'll have to see how that works out. Um, but it's time for me to do that little bit at the end of the video where I say my name and what day I'm on. So my name is Michael James Yeager and this is my voice one day on testosterone. <laughs>